Good friends. Hi, Doc South. And uh, still um, basking in the afterglow of uh, taking that uh, road trip with my uh, brother Ed, my younger brother Ed, uh, yesterday, touring uh, you know, all the all the great spots in uh, <laughs> in central New Jersey, uh, Plainfield. Uh, there was uh, again we used to uh, uh, park our uh, roofing trucks at a, a at a garbage truck repair facility, and uh, we dropped in there to uh, uh, to reminisce, had a ball, and uh, but the big thing. Uh, I gotta say, for me anyway, uh, I'm I'm a dyed in the wool train watcher. Heck, I'll watch a train j that's standing still. <laughs> there's well behind uh, the post office. I often go to to get stamps. There's an old caboose. I'll stop and just look at that. Yeah, but to actually see an an operating giant freight train come through, it, it's funny because. Where I used to live down in Wilson, North Carolina, uh, there was a north-south main line that came through. Amtrak takes it uh, to go from uh, Newark down to Florida, and uh, it's it's an in, it's an insane line. There's a lot of traffic and uh, freight yards and stuff, and some of the trains are stopping in Wilson to uh, uh, you know to add more cars and that kind. Of, oh, it's just amazing, and. I had forgotten just how cool it is to uh, have a freight train rumble by you. Yeah, you don't want to be on the tracks when it's coming. No, that's a bad deal. <laughs> that ain't good. Um, but the uh, but uh, you know, it'd be at a safe spot. You know, maybe a uh, hundred yards off, watching that baby go through. Man, I'll tell you. And the um, the gee, that's the power of the engines. They're just cranking. The engineer's got his eyes peeled. Most, I, I assume they have a fireman that's kind of looking out the other side of the train. Not that they could stop in any, uh, they, they will not stop that on a dime. It, it, frankly, if you see a freight train coming, my advice, yeah, and the crossing gates are down, yeah, stay where you are. <laughs> don't, don't get on that track because you never know. Something happens. You get stuck, and that train ain't stopping for you. They do not stop on a dime. It takes a while, and uh, but this one was just so powerful, just roaring through. Oh, it was so cool to see. I honestly, I wanted to cheer. I did. It was just, just a massive display of, of, uh, of American ingenuity, industry. Uh, it, it was just, a, just so cool. Honestly, it was. On, they uh, and the thing is, uh, I know I mentioned this in my video, but I just wanted to dwell on it just a tad. The graffiti on those box cars were some of it was absolutely stunning artwork. I don't know. I, I guess they don't really want to encourage that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, in the freight yards, people sneaking in uh, to paint those babies. But I gotta say, the artwork is. I don't know how. Maybe they, I maybe they could somehow get a bunch of old freight cars that are still movable, you know. That but maybe can haul freight and tell the uh, you know the graffiti guys, okay, knock yourselves out, and and let them uh, really decorate. You know, one guy gets one part of the car, another guy gets the other, and then they could almost take it on a on a tour, I suppose. The big shots had uh, kind of knocked that down because it probably encouraged more graffiti. And sooner or later, someone's going to get hurt in the freight yard, or they're going to they're, they're going to paint over the um, the markings the train needs uh, to identify uh, what's in the box car. I, I suppose it can't be done, but I got to say it's beautiful artwork. It really is. Uh, those guys with the spray paint cans really seem to know their stuff. Um, it it's fantastic, and uh, but again, just the as the train went by, you could actually feel the ground shake. Yeah, and and it it must have been doing like I said about forty fifty miles an hour, and just one car after another after another after another. I I don't know how many cars. I didn't try to count them. I was too busy going like 
like that. <laughs> Little cheering. Um, it, 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 like, it was just absolutely gut-wrenching amazing. I just, just something to see. And uh, that's a pretty flat run. I, I think, well, you know, it's basically central Jersey, so there's not too many, not too many hills. I don't know where they come out of. I, I, I really don't, but <clears throat> absolutely a gorgeous sight to see. I, to me, to see a train go by all blowing the blowing smoke and, and roaring along is like, like seeing a mountain vista. It, it was just so cool to, so cool to dig. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd say for that train crew. Uh, yep. Lord's prayer moment. There, there's probably times they need it. <laughs> Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. So be it. Huh? Yeah. Man, that was all right. I uh, I don't know if that's a regular, uh, whether you can set your watch on that freight train going through or not. I Honestly, I don't know. But it was... Um, it, it was a train watcher's dream. I know, I think that area does have some parks that are along the tracks. So you probably could go and sit around and, you know, wait for one or two to come through. I would imagine it's a busy line. Uh, I, I would think. Anyway, I'll see you later, friends. Thank you and God bless. Bye now. And oh, and watch those crossings. Don't mess with them. We'll see you later. Bye now.